And I'm going to be introducing us and talking a little bit about um, MEX, and then we'll be introducing the mayor. I just have, as I've said, about a two and a half hour speech, so be ready. <laughs> um, so I want to start by um, saying, by introducing the four owners of our business. Um, this is Misty Carpenter. <laughs> Misty's our head team coach, and from that ovation, I think that uh, you guys know Misty. So, um, we have Monica Wilhoyt. <laughs> and Monica's our recreational director, and having her allows us to really focus on our recreational program as well. So, to get all the kids that come what they need. Uh, we have Jennifer Timmons, our marketing director. <laughs> And I'm Jennifer Hallams, our business director. <laughs> I'm not the most exciting of the partners. I know, I know, but. All right, so Mex Gymnastics, that's how you pronounce it if you had any questions. Mex Gymnastics started as an idea that we could create a place where kids could thrive both as individuals and as gymnasts. All four of us owners are parents. Um, Mex is named after our children. This is Miley and Maddie Carpenter. Um, Elizabeth Timmons, <laughs> my daughter Kendall Hollis, <laughs> and Sadie Wilhoyt. <laughs> and so as parents ourselves, we know the benefit that gymnastics can, can have in kids' lives, um, both in increasing their confidence and their poise, and also um, in all of the physical things, like strength and balance and flexibility. So we're, we really wanted to create a place where our kids and all of your kids could thrive uh, as whole, whole individuals. We sought out highly qualified coaches, who I'll be pointing out in just a minute. We uh, purchased brand new state-of-the-art equipment. We just put in this new 2,300 square foot pit system. <laughs> so. It's, it's the only loose foam pit here in this area. It's perfect for fun. Kids love it, but it's also perfect for high-level training. So I think you'll see a lot of benefits from that. We wanted to create a place where everyone from the highest level, level 10 competitive gymnast, all the way down through a stubby unicorn could have a successful career. So um, you might have seen stubby around. So I also want to uh, introduce our coaching staff, not by name, but can you guys wave if you're one of our coaches right now? So. <laughs> So our coaches are really what makes this place successful, and they're really what makes us, uh, makes us a great place to be. So if you have any questions about the gym, about gymnastics, about what class is right for your kids, please seek out one of our coaches or our wonderful front desk staff who are at the registration table right now and not out here. So we don't let them come enjoy. So <laughs> stop and say, them, say, say hi to them, too. We have classes for uh, kids from 18 months through 18 years. We have a full competitive team through level 10. We have recreational classes, preschool classes. We have tumbling classes that are good for cheerleaders or people who want to do tumbling. And we have our ever popular boys flip and flex class. So there should be something for everyone here. We also offer uh, group opportunities. We work with a number of community organizations to provide uh, custom programming for them. So if you think you need open gyms or special tumbling training or something, see us about that as well. So um, a big thank you to everyone who has helped turn our dream into a reality. It's really amazing. We want to say thank you to all of our parents, um, team parents, recreational parents, all the kids who come smiling every day and make it worthwhile, um, all of our friends and family who've contributed countless hours to getting everything ready to go. At this point, we've been in business. Uh, we started with team practice uh, back in, on May 7th, and we start, opened our doors to recreational classes on June 4th. And we have over 250 kids who come in weekly now. We also offer three different open gyms starting right after Labor Day, and uh, we're growing every day. So we're really happy to be serving the Anderson community. We're really happy to um, be a part of making Anderson great. We have kids coming from as far away as Fishers and Noblesville, Winchester, Muncie, um, all over. So we're happy to be bringing all these people into Anderson and helping make Anderson better. Uh, Let's see, what else do I want to tell you all? We also have a number of community partners who are here today. We have Finn the Unicorn. If you want to have your picture taken with Finn, he's outside. We have a couple of different food trucks. 
We've been partnering on several different things with the Madison County uh, MOPS group. So if you have preschoolers and toddlers and slightly older kids and you want to be a part of that group, please do. We have a great Alexandria uh, theater company, the Commons Theater here. Uh, we've partnered with Anderson Steppers, a dance group, to provide tumbling classes. We have a lot of community partners that have made this detour hair salon. Um, a lot of partners who've made this, made this uh, successful where we are today. So we look forward to continuing to be part of the Anderson community. Um, we provided jobs for 20 coaches and staff at this point, and we're, as we grow, we'll provide more jobs, and we're happy to be offering that opportunity as well. So we're just happy to be here in Anderson, and we're very thankful that our mayor has joined us today, uh, Mayor Thomas Broderick. So. so welcome, Mr. Mayor. Well, thank you very much, and uh, congratulations. What a great thing you guys are all doing, and Good for you guys, okay? And all you kids, I'll tell you what, it's amazing to watch all these guys sit here and be so good. You guys are doing great. I just want to say on behalf of the city, this is exactly what we need, exactly what we want, and we want to thank all of you for taking your time, your effort, your finances, and your family. I know it's family affair. It's not just you guys. It's everybody else coming together, making something like this really work. And obviously, as you look out around us, this is amazing. And I had a chance to walk through a little bit and see some of the tumbling going on upstairs, and that was really cool. So we're very proud of all of you, and we're very proud as the city of Anderson to be here and help support what you're doing. I have, along with myself here, our chief of police behind us here. Tony Waters is here. We've got our Board of Works folks that are back here as well. I know some of our own people that are actually with kids here as well from our IT department, a controller's office. So the city of Anderson is fully invested in everything you guys are doing and we'll support you always in any way that, that we possibly can. So again, congratulations. Thank you for inviting us to take part in the ribbon cutting and the big kickoff today. You make Anderson proud. Thank you so very much. Thank you so much.